Welcome to Assembly Language Programming. Um, a prerequisite to this playlist would be the binary numbers uh, videos or the playlist on binary numbers. If you don't want to watch those um, all the way through, uh, feel free to just keep going with this playlist, which is fine. Um, but as I refer to binary and use binary, just know you can use the binary numbers videos in the binary number binary numbers playlist. Uh, to catch up with all that kind of things. Um, why learn assembly language? You're probably thinking, what about all the, let's do C Sharp, Java, C++, any language. Why assembly language? Well, all those languages that you use in any other language compiles down to machine code. And there are lots of different types of assembly languages, depending on the processor and the hardware architecture that you're working on. Um, I think a true computer scientist understands the system from the lowest layer of hardware all the way up to the pixie dust you'll find in a language like C Sharp, for example. And that's the kind of programmer I'm trying to go for uh, and to be. And so I think understanding the low-level internals, the hardware level, is important. That's why we're going to do assembly language. We're going to do Win32 assembly language, Intel architecture 32-bit. Again, there's all sorts of different types of hardware. And architecture is very similar to each other, but there are some uh, key points of competition, absolutely. Anyway, I'm going to use uh, Win32 simply because that seems to be mostly mainstream in what I deal with. Uh, and then another reason I'm making this playlist is I'm actually teaching this to my nine-year-old son who is picking it up much faster than I can teach it to him at the moment. But I think it's just, if he really wants to get into computer science again, uh, this is a nice basic level of uh, to begin at. I think a lot of people are scared of assembly language because it looks very cryptic, but what we're dealing with is just a overpowered basic calculator that can compute instructions insanely fast. And so if we understand how those instructions go together, uh, we can do some amazing things. And it'll be a fun journey. I'm having a lot of fun uh, teaching my nine-year-old son who's picking it up, and he's uh, doing some amazing things. Much much more amazing than I was doing at nine, year, nine years old. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy the playlist and uh, we'll go on from here.